You ready? Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Hi, beautiful beings. My name is Brittany. And I'm Bridget. Today we're going to be sharing about a regular practice that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. It's been pretty great. Yeah. I've gone through many different practices over the years where we're consistently, you know, Maybe there's an area of focus that we're needing to or wanting to put more time and energy into. And lately it's been just like having these weekly I guess check-ins, check -ins, but it feels more fun and intimate than a check-in. <laughs> yeah. um, where we meet up to share appreciation with each other, maybe things from the week that we're really appreciating and noticing and uh, feeling inspired by. And, and then also maybe some things that could... Um, like things that could have been challenging or I was thinking about it as like a withhold, maybe like something that you felt in something I felt in my system that I sort of bookmarked and mm -hmm. was like, I want to like process this and maybe check in with Bridget about this later. But knowing that we had a meeting time, yeah, knowing that we were going to do that so helpful. Because sometimes those bookmarks and things can just like get lost mm -hmm. and then they're just like kind of stored in our system. We didn't get to express, we didn't get to be heard. It can come up again. And so having this regular time that we've been creating to check in with each other has been really powerful um, and just helps us stay more intimately connected. Mm -hmm. Like. I love knowing like what you're appreciating yeah. or like what you're tuning into or what you were withholding or what your system was wanting to express or, um, and then just, and then having a container. So like sometimes if there's like something that comes up, right, that we bookmark in a, maybe in the past, we would have just shared about that thing in the moment. Right. And it might not be the best moment. It might not be the best moment. Um, and then that can create more tension or stress or drama um than we ultimately wanted it to right like we we want to share i'll speak for myself i want to share usually because i i want to feel more connected right and so having this this time where we come together to check in has really helped me feel that it helps me feel like oh i have the space where like i know we're gonna get to drop in together and it's like you know we we do different things like we're probably like yesterday when we checked in, we were just like laying naked in the sun and like just like cuddling and talking and mm -hmm. just felt so nice and grounding. And um, so also it's like making it a, a nice, like nourishing ex experience has been really beautiful. Yeah. And for me, knowing that there's a set time where not only can we do that, but it's encouraged to do that mm -hmm. feels really grounding for my nervous system. It's like inviting, welcoming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also that there's because I had I did have experiences where it's like okay I'm playing around with being more vulnerable in sharing during my process mm -hmm. because my go-to is like I'll figure it out on my own and then either I won't need to share with Bridget or I'll share this like perfect end result with you and then I miss the good stuff <laughs> but then swinging to the other side and sharing sometimes when I was in process and maybe it wasn't a good time for Bridget felt hard and it's hard to check in and say like hey is this a good time for you to receive something because it's like how do you not and then it's just like go into there. it in that moment yeah yeah so it's just it, for me it's really grounding and to know too Bridget that's a time that Bridget will share with me so I can make sure I'm resourced I'm ready yeah. I'm going to be really available to hear whatever she has to share and some weeks we've just shared appreciations because there hasn't been anything like any challenges or withholds or processing things that we want to check in about mm -hmm. so that's also nice and grounding for the system like this is a time of connection and it's a beautiful thing to connect no matter what comes up and it varies and to name this thing too that could be cool is like sometimes if we're withholding something right it's like in our system it's kind of like stored in there it's like circulating and then like the environment will create another experience right that's similar to that right and so then it's like reinforcing our story that we're like holding on to and so 
I think that's another one of the, the beautiful parts of having this practice is like because we're continually releasing the withhold, it's not building in our system and mm -hmm. creating more stuff that's not even necessary or real sometimes or like, um, you know, because sometimes something that can come up, maybe it's a story, you know, it is a story, it's a, it's a perception, it's a story. Um, and so if I get to rewire that story by sharing my withhold, mm -hmm. uh -huh, feeling safe, feeling seen, feeling loved, feeling received, oh, that dispels so much in my system. My system starts to feel safe, grounded, nourished, connected. Over time, the stories really start to dissipate. Yeah. Another way this is really nourishing me is I really love to know I love to receive appreciation, like I love words of affirmation, and I also love to know how Bridget is feeling about me. Mm. And it, I, I've been, yeah, just feeling so much more nourished in that area because it's a regular practice we have. And how cool to know something that is a need of yours and to make a regular time for it. <laughs> because then, yeah, I feel so so much more grounded, connected to you, full in all these ways. Yeah. Yeah like having the container for that, because I think uh, one thing we've realized is I'm appreciating Brittany all the day, but sometimes I don't always express that. That's just like right. a part of my like thoughts or my feelings throughout the day. And I'm like, oh, like I love the team we are. And like, wow, just like we're ebbing and flowing in life. And I'm just like in appreciation a lot of the time, but I don't always express that. Um, I don't feel like I need that. Right. right? We're a little different in that area. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so Brittany really likes that. And so it gives me and you this opportunity each week to be like, oh. And then I've also noticed because we've had this regular time that I'm sharing my appreciations out loud more. Whether yeah. it's like through a text or through an audio message if we're not together or just like at the end of the day or just in passing. Yeah. Um, because those like little areas of appreciation are really powerful. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I do. I think it's brought a lot more like mutual, regular appreciation into our relationship. Yeah. And that's always what we lead with when we connect. We like sit down, take a few breaths. We're usually like facing each other or holding each other in some way. And we just like naturally start sharing things that we've been appreciating about each other, about us, about the week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then like the, it like builds too, you mm -hmm. know, like you share an appreciation that inspire, you know, and it's just this beautiful time to just like sit together and have the intention. And I think that is one powerful tool I think that we have maintained consistently is having a intentional space that we're dropping into to with each other weekly or on a regular basis. Totally. Yeah, because there's a lot of things that can get overlooked and like the busyness of our lives and parenting and business and this and that and just like kind of like being on the go, like to slow down and really connect with your partner um, and to get to share that emotional intimacy is, is so beautiful. And I feel like has also deepened like our physical intimacy and totally. um, just us feeling more nourished and full and excited to be in connection with each other yeah and it's also us actively writing our story it's mm -hmm. what we talk about what we what we emphasize that is how we remember our lives and it's really impactful to have this time that we take aside and we reflect on each other and what has been present and to name it in this really beautiful way mm -hmm. it gave me extra appreciation for our past weeks and how we've been growing together how I've witnessed Bridget, what I love about her, what I love about how she's evolving. It like, it builds you up and it emphasizes who you're becoming and, and who you want to be and how you want to see your life. I love that because it is, it's like reinforcing this positive momentum. And it's like, oh, I'm being appreciated. I'm being seen. I'm being celebrated. Wow. Like I want to keep doing that. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, I just had this thought, like <laughs> I tell this to my clients all the time, but it is like, you know, those little things add up, right? Like if we're celebrating our successes, even if they're small, mm -hmm. like our system is going to respond so much more to that, right? Like we get excited when we're celebrating ourselves rather than like, oh, 
I could have done it better. It's not perfect, whatever the thing is, but it's like, no, like the little things, the little, the little appreciations, like, oh, because it's like, it's creating this momentum. It's creating this energy. It feels good. It's a positive feedback loop. It's, um, the, you know, that's what we're, the energy, the vibe that we're creating. So then we're getting more of that. And, um, yeah, I've really been feeling that, um, like, I feel like we we already live in that space, but since we've been doing this regularly for a while now, it's I've, I really feel the ripple effect of it. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we've had some, we've had family visit two weeks back to back while we've also been having our busiest weeks in business and like, do, you know, just like, I'm mm -hmm. like, wow, we're rocking life. I feel like Ilya's, we're rocking life with Ilya. Ilya's doing great. We're all feeling nourished and regulated and full and like, wow mm -hmm. something, something got a good groove going on yeah it? yeah i know this is like one piece but it's but it's it is the vibe. it's an impactful yeah. piece and it's cool to look at like what have been the things that have really made it for us and and that's why we we created our program closer and this is the kind of work we share about in it and this is one of the practices mm -hmm. in it too yeah. which is really beautiful um but yeah just thinking about like what makes an impact in your relationship what has made an impact what mm. could make a powerful impact yeah something to really think about and and also then it could look similar to what we do it could be slightly different but um yeah i would love to hear if there's like you have a ritual or routine that you're doing or if this is inspiring a ritual or routine that you'd like to, to implement into your relationship um with your partner with your friends or with yourself um yeah yeah definitely <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thanks for being here.